Hey guys, it's your Burger Crippers, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool Crow. Good. Good. And, uh, yeah. We're, we're more than fully back. After, uh, returning from our little hiatus in the last episode. Got Merseyside Derby today against Everton because of the first game. Martin Tyler here for you, along with Alan Smith, of it's course. And our now. football today so, is from the Premier League. Yeah. We're looking to have a better performance than the People's Club, game. as Everton refer themselves, and Liverpool with the greater history, really. But that's all forgotten today. It's about today. Well, there's always a buzz in the city when this derby comes along, and. Uh, I think we're going to see some terrific football because two strong teams here. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. Thibaut Courtois starts to go. David Alaba starts with Nathaniel Klein as the wide defenders. Renato Sanchez with Dele Alli in the centre of the park. Forward! Never mind, Renato Sanchez will header in it. Across from Sadio Mane. And it's 1-0 inside 10 minutes. A terrific moment for the team. You'd have been proud of this one. Well, he timed the jump and he timed the header perfectly. A wonderful example of how to head the ball. That's good because now Everton can sit back in the game. Come out of the shell. If they were even seven goals for Renato Sanchez, he's equaled his tally for all of last season. And that game has opened the score like 14 or 15 of the season. So Gabriel Pallis. Make of that what you will. It's taken him less than it's half the games to get what he got a lot all of that. Between them and the, goal, but they still got the, ball. the goals, I've said this before, but the goals have really been spread Virginia. out. It's still only it's one easy. outfield player from the starting 11 has. Score at least one goal, and that's let's check uh, on the Sewell. league table, Alan. And when you look at it, Burnley they're doing phenomenally well. We couldn't really have expected that from them. Well, I don't know if they can sustain this or draw. It's definitely on too early offside, but I don't care. Doesn't need to go as soon as he did there. I'm improving my points, Tally, and my goal. James McCarthy, Blint. Yeah. Liverpool take over position Sula. again. Roberto Someone, I forgot my say on Twitter. If I if I get a penalty, I should have to take it. Just to have it's good play to be able to say challenge in. He all the players Klein. have scored at least in the middle. All the outfit If I were to have Kevin all the players, Rose. I would have to give one to Coach Hook. Oh, at some point as well. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I'd do that. Throw him to Liverpool. Like I would only give the Like only if I had to take the if it Alaba off the team and my Renato Sanchez doing well to keep the ball. Someone Here comes the cross. Someone else. Well, they got it wide very well. The chance uh, to get the cross I very rarely in. make it's not turned out to be a very good delivery. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, it's Moving so forward well. with shots on. Great work from the goalkeeper. Because there's an injury. It's probably the only time I ever make defensive substitutions. Because mostly the substitutions I make are in the midfield or okay, up front. The uh, and, uh, attack is fit. And I'll play, brilliant. Kick. But um, yeah. Just a little nudge. To nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports is, for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Liverpool will be facing Crystal Palace. Well I'm going to have Yeah, I've had a lot of support. You know, you can get new defenders on. I am as well. Yeah, but. Miralas. Like, really only like the wide defenders are going to help you unless you go all out attack. Massive run that they're on. Yeah, the Sarenbacks are uh, traveling forward. 
you look through it during the attack on the top class performance um on the players just exuding someone did say hit him he and why do you uh, have defense and a defenders and a goalkeeper on the defense because you know you have to be prepared you have to be prepared for injury like if cut out the reason I have uh, two defense I always I always think it's best to have two defenders two midfielders and two uh, attackers as well as a goalkeeper that way you can change around changing tactically or if there's an injury if you suffer an injury to a say if something were to happen to Coteau Say if he were to pick up an injury, he wouldn't go in for the ball or something. And that will be Liverpool's throw it. I don't know. And he got injured in the process. And I didn't have a goalkeeper on the bench. What would I do then? So I would have to put an outfielder in goal or something. Like I would probably have to put like an outfielder in goal and I I, <laughs> I would have to sacrifice an outfielder. I'm not gonna do that. Add on two extra minutes. One because, like, there's absolutely no one I would trust in goal, <laughs> other than an actual goalkeeper. Because, I mean, they they don't know the ins and outs of being a goalkeeper. It's all well and good watching the goalkeeper on your team, more being frustrated as you try to beat. The offensive team's goalkeeper, but actually doing it, I'm sure there's more to than uh, just dive the right way. Kevin Morales working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. I mean, even real goalkeepers aren't perfect. He went out of the box. He went outside the box. I could have sworn he went outside the box. Ooh, he must have just kept the ball in, but his his lower body definitely crossed that fucking line. Ooh, he is a lucky boy, because that would have been a straight red card. I've had that happen to me a few times by accident. My keeper just decides to pick the ball up. I didn't, I didn't tell him, I don't tell him to come out, but yeah, there, there he is. Just, and a, what was that? What was that, Sadio? Just mm, tap it. No, smash it home. I mean that instance. Support action there. Coutinho. She's gone away. Origi. One. Firmino. Two nil. Wonderful. That really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match. That's a great breakaway. Four goals for a season for Roberto Fervi. Executed to perfection. On the hour mark. Perfect timing. It's all about pace and scores. With that second goal. And it's been me much an hour of very good football. Tire grip on this game than uh, a 1 0 well. lead did. Because 1 0 leads all they would have well, to do is score at uh, all level again. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. And in goes the cross. Now Sadio Mane. Coutinho. Trying to switch on the... He's been given the freedom to run at the Everton defence for some reason. I don't know why. If I were an opposition manager, I'd be like, yo, fucking make sure Coutinho doesn't get anywhere near the box. Now, cross he has a good game. Everton with one eye on the clock. For any be a complicated approach now. Long balls into the box from any angle. It's all about trying to win that going first header. For Pulisic. Decided to make a change, and being behind, you can understand. Clearly, to Liverpool in real life. Dealt with pretty straightforwardly. Of course, the game hasn't got to Everton. What, Alan? This could be a chance. Oh, man, he's clean through on goal. Sure, this is 3-0. Yes, it is. Oh, my return. It won't take it long. <laughs> It'd probably be over to Goodison Park by the 
Even before the referee wants to blow the full time whistle. They got it absolutely right. <laughs> Enjoyed that and that is right across the road. Unaware who had committed too many men forward. Is that close? Touch it. Widen the margin now. 3-0 they lead. Virgil van Dijk. Well, no shots at all so far for Everton. Well, nobody is taking the responsibility here. I think they've uh, just all lost their courage, shrinking into the shells. A war ball. Could be dangerous. War ball. Lindy's holding onto his shot, but Origi gets away from him, and it's 4-0. I don't know why he can do that, but whatever. <laughs> it is looking... Oh, that'd be nice. Right it's right. oh, it's an end of the situation for them. Should be home and host. 12 league goals for Dima Perini. He's matched the goal from Sadio Mane. Which is Gabriel Palista. Crazy stuff, man. Crazy stuff. Moving forward. Oh, no. Danger to the opposition. Now they're here. Goals. Now they can't. Oh, not done yet. Ten minutes left. Origi's through again. Linden's trying to stop me. This time he does. This time he does. Gabriel Palista. Gabriel, what is he doing? That, yeah, that far forward. He's read that, hasn't he? Central he? defender is out of place. Actually. Wait, are they right at the back? Or is... Oh, Blinds must be playing left back. I'm confused because I was confused because they have uh, Van Dyke as well. But, uh, that must be. The case. And he could get away here. Why is he playing so slowly? Why did you hit it at the goalkeeper? You went whole oh, empty space. To aim the ball, and you aim it straight at the keeper. Well, this attack that is um, fantastically stupid, Sadio. Hey, Van Dyke. This is the uh, Van Dyke, another er, player who's heavily linked to Liverpool. But considering his prop he passed as much just as just put it off target just wide of that rumors post to his teammates nice were convinced he was going to score there I think uh, leave him at Southampton or or leave him to go to Chelsea or Man United or whoever because you know if we're going to have money to spend in the summer if we're going to spend big money on someone Virginia. let's get a big money striker or something and we'll bang in 20 plus goals and get. They never let up. Did make they? sure we get top to make four. Maybe even have a chance yeah, for the Premier League title. Actually, quite often, last 10 or 15, you you ease off, but this team didn't. I, think he was I know there. someone will say, oh, but what about Manny? Manny will play on the wing. <laughs> no doubt. Everyone's love affair with Daniel Sturridge is coming to an end in the summer. We Crystal Palace this. two, West Ham United one, Liverpool four, Every... Everton nil. That's that's one thing I Charlotte, don't get. Two, Aston Villa. Diego Carrillo's a really good player. Let's take a look at yeah, what those results mean. Yeah, every time I'm table. watching Liverpool, at the top of the table remain Liverpool okay. with 45 okay. points. In mm. second, Tottenham Hotspur with 35 points. Mm. Oh, sorry, third, Chelsea when Liverpool points. aren't on the telly, I mean, fourth, um, with whenever I, points. In fifth, they're not on the telly, the I often have my clock with on out, looking in at sixth, moving down, Twitter, weighing the, some of the tweets, seven, what is happening in the, the table Crystal game, Palace game. with 24 like, points. On, in eighth tweets, and falling are Leicester good. City with and 24 people are, points. You, you Bottom see almost table, instantly take off for e on storage and then really this the is just like bottom, you know, like, Watford with 12 points do you, do you not Third know that Rigi will United leave us with 12 if he's points. Not against the first team fourth bottom West Bromwich Daniel Albion Sturridge is over points. the fucking fifth bottom you know, Norwich City fact, I wouldn't go so far as to say he's over the hill he's buried under the fucking thing because he couldn't get over because he kept getting injured look I respect Daniel Sturridge for all he has done for Liverpool, but 
It is time to let it fucking go. The Daniel Sturridge who was banging them in next to Luis Suarez, he may as well be dead. Because he's not coming back. Okay? So people calling for for Devo Garigi to be switched out for Sturridge. Name one game where Daniel Sturridge has been good this season. Every time he's come on, he's played terrible. He's barely been able to run. Like, he comes on, he does nothing. Like, take the game against Southampton. Everyone was calling for him to come on. And when he came on, did nothing. Everyone was like, oh, he should come on. He should come on. All right. No. No. Because he did nothing. Even if he had come on earlier. He would have still done nothing. People just... I don't, I don't understand what it is. People love Daniel Sturge. I he respect Daniel Sturge. But I'm not... not sitting here for thinking... And if Daniel Sturge was playing, we would be banging in goals up right and center. I mean, look. His contract is running out. But I don't even think I could t renew it. Even if I wanted to. I, I think it's time for him to move on from the club. So I'm not making him an offer. Not even making him an offer. Because he'd probably reject it anyway. Because he's probably going to look for first team football. And I can't offer him first team football. Because Origi is better. Origi is better. Daniel Sturridge has had his time. He, he, he could do well for another team. He, he might hear Newcastle might be looking at him. And power to him. I could see him easily getting 15 plus gold for, for Newcastle. But, but we can't rely on him when he comes on and does nothing for us. Maybe he'll score 15 plus goals for Newcastle. Maybe he won't. I don't know. But that's presuming he even goes to Newcastle. I don't know where he's going to go in the summer. But in the summer, it needs to come to an end. I, I, I feel like people are getting they get this mixed up. I don't hate Daniel Sturridge. I, why would I do that? I just think that his injuries have really he ruined his career. And now people are thinking, oh, Daniel Sturridge will be the savior. He comes on. He does nothing. People will bitch and moan about him not coming on sooner. Like... If he had, name one time, I, I would love to hear people who were calling for Daniel Sturridge to come on to point out one time where Sturridge would have been hanged in a shot that Rigi didn't score. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all and welcome to today's game. Coming up now, Crystal Palace. I would love to hear Liverpool. people's... Why, why people love Daniel Sturridge? Why are they calling for Daniel Sturridge so much? I get that he scored a lot of goals in the past, but what has he done for us lately? The last time Daniel Sturridge had a good game was, yes, it was against Southampton, but that was last. The match last time out. You know what, a better game than that. Attacker in the lineup against Southampton that. This is the yeah. Liverpool side. That was the to our starts in goal. David Alaba four four when we fucking smashed the defenders. Delhi Ali starts with Renato Sanchez. Uh, yeah. Who, who was that Belgian? He came off the bench to score a hat. Oh yeah, that, that, that was Steve Ogarigi. Yeah, remember him? You fucking idiots. So I seriously think Shut people up. were actually That's thinking that was Benteke. With the way they off the crossbar just, and back into the penalty area. They throw. Oh, him under the bus? They really do. It's, wow. it, it boggles my mind. Leading away in celebration there. Boy, Daniel Sturridge gets so much praise and so much praise. Marco Arnautovic. Do, do people not remember it? Last season, at the end of last season, when Origi was banging in goals left, right and centre. If not for... For his injury against Everton and that fucking asshole Funes Mari, 
I read you were banging a few more ago. Was, was, and we were probably won a trophy in form of the uh, Europa League. Because I think his injury really, he came back too soon to really have a full effect. Two consecutive victories into three. Yeah, and the way they played in those previous two, I, I can see them. But since, since he got injured, people just don't care anymore. Like, oh, he's injured, whatever. And yet Daniel Sturridge, who practically lives in the fucking operation room now. And again, I don't hate Daniel Sturridge. I have nothing against Daniel Sturridge. I'm not respectful to be. what he has done in the local show. I think it's stupid to say, oh, Daniel Sturridge should be on. Why? Give Origi the chance. Hmm. Let me throw some names at you. Ian Hazard and Romelu Lukaku. Two of the best players in the league. Oh, and uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And where are all those three? Good attacking Belgians. Well, they're in a good position here. Now, Lukaku would be no good for us because he, he, he's... Chooses to punch here, the goalkeeper. He's pretty much the same as Christian Benteke. Well, he's probably. I know Christian Benteke did score two goals the last time we played when we played Pazers. How on earth did he miss it? But I think anyone could tell you Lukaku is probably better than Benteke. Lukaku is top goal scorer. Say, I haven't seen the uh, top goal scorer. Saw it coming. Cut it out. Good work. Think Lukaku is just the head of King signals for the throw and then um, Aguero. Switch on the attacking power in this situation. You're telling me we 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 can't have a Belgian. And whenever I say this to my friends, they're like, "You had Benteke, and you didn't use him." We're dealing in fine margins. No, no, no. We had Benteke. We could have used him if he was not Christian Benteke. If it were or small or fast pacey striker like I don't know um well, this I, I don't want to use the authority as an example he's had a go here um he's hit it far too high I mean you know we could sign uh that Napoli guy uh, Martins Dries Martins we could sign him and play him at striker because I mean, look at look at all the informs he's getting in, uh, from uh, Ultimate Team. Anyone? Uh, I don't watch Serie A, but if, if he's getting all these good if these informs, all these upgrades, all these hates, he must be having the fucking season of his life. Now Sadio Mane for Napoli. And here comes if the uh, team attack. is not calling for his signature and. Uh, Three minutes the from the referee by the Murphy official, that's the decision. Every serious question that that's that I would think. Okay. And let's say, oh, uh, he's coming a little old. No, no, no. That's a corner now for I mean, Liverpool. if we're going to bid for him, depending on who we're up against, then so we might have a good chance. That's, I would love from a player like Green Martin. So he's going to have the seasons of it of his fucking life if that form is only going to continue unless he gets injured and there's no tournaments during the summer at least not for him so well, having a good attacker especially when there are so many attackers from that same nation in the league it's stupid not to think oh we could use one of them. Pizarro. Martin Kelly. Look, I get it. Daniel Sturridge has a has that end. Want it back with an interception. It was good progress with this attack. He's English, so he has to be good because. England is the best country at the football. That's why they lost to Iceland. You 
fucking ah, tonight, moron. Nice move to get away from the defender. This with a chance to go into the lead now. That's safely away. I, I fail to see why people. It could do a better cross than that, I think. Off. And it was easy to cope and, and with. To, to the people who respond, oh, but Belgium lost to Wales. Uh, Wales had the fucking torment of their lives. Just a little nudge. Granted, so did I. Direction so. of what's coming up. But, and it's into the back hmm. of the net. What the? And in front now. Let's see, Wales. Was, what pack do they have? He's really expensive. Scores some goals, gets a few assists. I also don't have this guy. Oh yeah, Bale, Bale, Bale. You know, remember that guy who was unbelievable for Tottenham? That's why he, he's the well now third most expensive transfer in history. He, thank you very much, Paul Pogba. Huh? And you're telling me, do Iceland have a bail? <laughs> no. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Could it have easily been Belgium being like, uh, what about Liverpool's? Could have easily. It could have easily ended up with their next match. I think they could coast home in this one. Wales losing to Belgium and England being Iceland like they should have. England should have swept Iceland aside. But English are full of confidence and they just they overestimate their own ability. They're like, yeah, we have all these players. It's, Could be dangerous. Oh uh, yeah. Really strong tackle yeah. and the ball's gone out for a throw. It is 2017. Oh, it was 2016 when this happened. Chance to get some width into this attack. It's no longer 1966. 20 minutes now remaining. Now, will England win a tournament again in the future? Maybe. Who knows? Played down the wind. Crazy shit Keeping could happen. Wide attack going. But will it happen anytime soon? I don't know much time. I th the ball's th loose. Comes out with a punch to England are danger. overestimating their ability. Every time. In England are aiming for a semi-final or something like that. They're like, they are underestimating themselves, and then they come up against the a big team, or in this case, a small team, and they're like, hey, no problem, no problem. They're a little more cautious with the big team, but everyone was predicted. Oh, they'd sweep past Iceland. Everyone was already planning the match against France, which. Considering how Iceland got on against France, yeah, England were lost anyway. Menace to it. They cope with it well defensively. I think even the English would tell you that. What was it? Four or five? France beat Iceland. Play? Good anticipation by the opposing player there to read the, of the throw. Granted, France lost. To, somehow lost. And just throw it forward Portugal. a bit to their next game. Should be. He has come to the rescue this time. And everyone prays for Ronaldo for something he had barely any part for defenders, but also for strikers as well. Like seriously, Ronaldo has one good game, and apparently he was the player of the tournament. Whether he's chosen the right studs, because he slip. Oh, he was amazing. Liverpool lead by one. The scoreline has been. I don't mean to make this about Ronaldo and his fanboys who want to play. James Tompkins. This is. I, I'm, I, I got off track there. Her, her. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, Steve Okereke. He, he should be given time. He should be playing over Daniel Sturridge. We should be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Three minutes. He built thing on him. Get Sturridge out because. Roberto Firmino. Deep down. It's a situation where. And that's a win confirmed for Liverpool. Who would be the bigger loss right now? A lot of people would say Daniel Sturridge would be the bigger loss. And I would say I would happily trade five Daniel Sturridges to keep Divock Origi.
because I could almost I could almost guarantee you whoever were to buy that Divokery would turn him in to a mother fucking superstar. Can you imagine? Liverpool won. And then, when Divo Origi is scoring lots of goals and banging them in left, right, and center, people will be like, oh, why did Liverpool let him go? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. We, he, he, Tottenham Hotspur won. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standards. He favored Daniel Sturridge, who's uh, injured again, probably. In second, I mean, Tottenham Hotspur with 38 points. I don't want to be predicting the future here. With 31 points. Her, but let's be honest, it might points. just be the case. In fifth, rising up the table are Everton with 26 Thanks points. for watching. Home in joy. Sixth, Smash the like button if you did subscribe to this. And then next time I'll be off. In seventh, very... climbing the table say? are Peace. City with 24 points. In eighth and falling are Crystal Palace with 24 points. Bottom of the table, Newcastle United with 11 points. And then reading up the table.